Section 6, Operationalize Your Cluster. In this video, we'll be taking a look at monitoring with Prometheus and Grafana. We'll start off with a quick product review of Prometheus and Grafana. We'll talk a little bit about leveraging pre-created dashboards within Grafana and a little bit about how to create custom dashboards. Prometheus, again, is a powerful time series database. It collects information from the cluster and from Kubernetes objects and can store that information locally or forward it to other sources. Grafana, on the other hand, is a visualization tool. It provides out-of-the-box support for many data sources, Prometheus being one of them. It provides out-of-the-box dashboards as well, the ability to pull in different Prometheus dashboards and other packs of dashboards based on data source. An added bonus is that Grafana is also extensible, meaning that you can create custom data sources as well as custom dashboards. With these dashboards, I mentioned you can import Prometheus metrics dashboards. There are special Istio dashboards as well that can get imported, or you can create your own. For how to create specific custom dashboards, you can take a look at the link below and it will give you a walkthrough on how to create your own dashboard. Let's keep an eye out and monitor things with Prometheus and Grafana. Okay, so we've installed Prometheus and Grafana alongside of Istio using that demo profile. So we have existing instances out there. Let's take a look at Prometheus real quick. And a good way to take a look at what's available to you is to drop down the insert metric drop down and just browse through here. You can see there's a lot of different elements that it captures. And some of these are specific to Istio, for example, Envoy. There's specific Istio ones. There's some Jaeger collectors, Kiali, Pilot. So there are a lot of different things in here that you can take a look at. And one of the nice options that you have from the UI here is the ability to switch between console and graph. So if you want to look at the actual data, it's right here versus the graph, which will give you a graphical representation. And obviously this is kind of ugly looking, which is why we tend to like Grafana a little bit better for visualizations. Now there is a dashboard pack that comes with the Istio installation of Grafana. And in order to take a look at that, we can go to Dashboards, Manage, and you'll see an Istio folder here with a few different dashboards contained within it. But what if you want to put more dashboards in and get a different view of what's going on in your cluster or specific workloads? That's where the community dashboards come in handy. Now, this will give you dashboards for pretty much anything you can think of. But let's take a look at... For example, this dashboard, and you'll notice that there's a dashboard ID here. We're going to copy that, and we're going to come over to Import. And you can see that you've got a couple of options. You can either paste the raw JSON of the dashboard, or you can paste in the ID. You'll see it pulls it right in, and we're going to select Prometheus as the data source. And you'll see there's all kinds of stuff going on here. All processes, you can see memory usage, CPU usage. So for example, if I wanted to isolate on one of these, I could click on one. Same with this, we could isolate that. We can also change our time frame to go over the last 15 minutes, which will give us a little bit more of a real-time flavor, as opposed to three hours, which mashes everything together. If we come back to dashboards, we can also scroll through. Here's another one, project or namespace based on memory. So let's pull this one in as well. We'll go back to manage. We'll discard those changes. We'll paste that in. Select our data source. And again, we'll change this back to last 30 minutes. And it just gives you a quick overview of namespace and or project based on memory usage. So it gives you a min max on each one of the namespaces that are going on here. Now you can directly monitor using Prometheus, but it's 
advise that you use something like Grafana, wherein you can go through and do things like a playlist. And we can add a couple of different dashboards and change our interval over to, let's say, 30 seconds. You've got a couple of different options for that. So this will display as each dashboard rotated every 30 seconds. So this is useful for anyone who's looking to get an operational monitor set up within a common area, within an office, or just for your own use. Keep an eye on things as things are developing. Now this will give you an idea if there are any problems. And you can keep an eye on uh, different types of dashboards depending on what it is that you're looking to monitor.